All right, everybody, welcome to today's Lunch and Learn on this glorious 420. It does not escape us that today we will be talking about CBD on this <laughs> somewhat national holiday. Um, and today we're going to focus on CBD use and how it is uh, helpful for managing chronic pain and anxiety. And I'm so thrilled to have with me today <laughs> Carrie Hayes from we Rethink Wellness. Uh, Carrie and I met at a um, a, a group activity, you know, probably, gosh, it's been two years now, and we immediately bonded because we're moms of three boys, and I was so excited uh, to partner with her in presenting this topic today because it's something that we're both very passionate about. So, Carrie, thanks so much for being with us today. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you, Kristen. And, you know, what we both do just works so hand-in-hand -hand together, so I'm delighted to be here and be a part of it. Absolutely. So in today's presentation, we're going to talk a little bit about chronic pain. This is a topic that certainly is near and dear to my heart as a physical therapist and something that um, I've really learned more and more about as I've gone through this process of being a PT, because what I found is that there are so many people that are suffering with chronic pain, as well as some of that additional side effect of anxiety that comes along with being in perpetual pain. So we're gonna talk a little bit about kind of the facts of chronic pain, as well as how we can manage that through physical therapy. And then I'll pass things over to Carrie so she can talk a little bit about how CBD can help augment physical therapy, as well as act as a standalone intervention for managing that chronic pain and anxiety and breaking that inflammatory cycle. Um, Carrie has some awesome products she's going to show. Um, certainly, I'll caveat this by saying, you know, you are welcome to purchase CBD products from anyone. Um, I like having Carrie on to talk because her products are fantastic and they're organic and they're proven. Um, and when I say proven, she'll talk more about that in a bit. Um, but certainly, this isn't meant to be like a sales pitch or anything like that. We just want to get the information out to you and then you can choose whichever direction you move from there. Um, Carrie will also talk about dosing, which I think is really one of the key components of having a partner in CBD because you want to have someone who has experience and um, Carrie certainly has that. At the very end of the presentation, I'm going to share the, um, a coupon code for saving 10% off of CBD. Uh, we'll move through the material quickly so that we can get to the you know, meat and potatoes of Q&A at the end. Um, so certainly uh, save those questions and we'll happily have you, um, you know, take yourself off of mute and ask those at the end. So just briefly about chronic pain, um, you know, the, the true definition of chronic pain is anytime pain lasts longer than 12 weeks. So we see that this is, you know, a cycle that starts probably with an initial insult. And then as we'll talk about in a minute here can cause some very long standing issues. It's a pretty common situation affecting 30% of Americans or 33.3% of Americans. Um, and, and it's something that at any given point in time, um, you could potentially have the risk for chronic pain. So like I said, it usually starts with an acute episode. Maybe it's you sprain an ankle, maybe it's you tweak your back, lifting up a grandkid. Um, and then something happens within the body that can start to cause that pain to stick around. That could be, maybe it's a recurrent situation, a recurrent back strain or a recurrent sprained ankle. Um, it could be coupling that pain with a history of depression and anxiety. And what we start to see is that ability of the physical pain to kind of latch on to the psychological pain and start to partner together. We also see that if you have an additional mental health problem, that can also trigger the uh, potential for chronic pain to stick around much longer. And then lastly, having a relatively inactive lifestyle. Uh, we know that um, movement is medicine and as physical therapists, our job is to help people move to feel better. Um, and when we see someone have a lifestyle that isn't really rich in movement, that can actually cause pain to stick around longer than it should. When we have chronic pain, this certainly wreaks havoc on our daily life. We see limitations in our ability to do daily tasks, we certainly see higher uses of medications, whether they're opioid related or over the counter, like persistent use of Advil or Aleve. Um, we see that it affects people's ability to attend work. Maybe they miss some work days or they end up having to take some disability because the pain limits them from working. 
And then lastly, as you can imagine, when you're in a perpetual state of pain and, dis and discomfort, that can actually start to have those psychological effects and cause feelings of depression because you're not able to do the tasks that you love and you constantly have that pain weighing on the back of your mind. So chronic pain is really a fascinating science to study. And um, again, in my experience as a physical therapist, I've seen um, this really play out in a lot of my clients. So I just wanna take a moment to explain this pain cycle because this will help to understand where something like CBD can come in and intervene in that pain cycle. So typically how chronic pain works is there's an initial pain response, whether that's an injury um, or some type of a condition. And then that causes the increase of calcium to release as well as cortisol. And for those of you who don't know, cortisol is the stress hormone. It's the same hormone that is released when we're having a stressful work day as when we sprain our ankle and have that acute pain. Elevated levels of cortisol level in your body can actually cause an inflammatory response system-wide. Meaning, even though you might have sprained your ankle, if that causes significant undue stress that raises our cortisol level, that can actually cause an inflammatory response in the whole body. And what we find mysteriously is that the part of the brain that's perceiving that ankle sprain starts to spread and start to affect other areas of the brain, mostly the limbic system. And the limbic system is what ties our physical response to our emotional response. So this is known as the process of central sensitization. And this is where the brain starts to really link that emotional response of the pain with the physical stressor. Um, even if that physical harm, that, that ankle sprain has completely healed, we still could have some of those emotional ramifications or pain ramifications because of the changes in the inflammatory response of the body, as well as the neurochemistry within the brain. So certainly we see that this can have a very, very long standing effect. What happens is this creates what's known as the cycle of pain. So essentially a movement or an action causes an initial pain. That causes us to be fearful of moving. So as a result, we stop moving, which then further increases our body's inflammatory response. That body isn't able to work through that painful process. So certainly, you know, getting into that pain cycle and breaking that so that we can start to restore movement is absolutely critical. And that would be under the guidance of a physical therapist. So that physical therapist is gonna help work with you to address that initial cause of the pain, mm -hmm. as well as restore some movement to your body so that you're able to work through that inflammatory process. Mm -hmm. Flush out the toxins, bring in blood supply and nutrients so that not only is your body healing, but the neurochemistry of your brain is changing as a result. Uh, certainly, physical therapy is going to teach other strategies to help manage that pain and control or create your ability to control the symptoms. And that might not mean completely eradicating the pain, but it's teaching you how to manage the symptoms and take control so that you don't feel those feelings of despair and anxiety as a result of not being able to do the things you want to do. One of the tools that is helpful in breaking that pain cycle is CBD. And when I pass things over to Carrie, she'll talk about how CBD comes in and intervenes at that inflammatory level so that the body can start to calm down that sensation of inflammation and heightened emotional response. Mm -hmm. um, certainly, we'll see that that reduces the pain sensitivity, which is then gonna allow your body to do what it needs to do, which is move. We are not static creatures. We as humans need to be able to move in all different ways so that we can do not only the tasks we want, but just so that we can keep our bodies healthy and the blood circulating. So when I think of CBD, I think of it as a great augmentative tool to allow us to restore that normal motion so that we can work side by side in controlling how that body is perceiving the pain. 
So with that, let me pass things over to Carrie and she can go through kind of how CBD works and some of the basic principles of CBD. All right, all yours, Carrie. Okay, so I don't see myself on there, but you all can see me? We can see you, yep. Oh, okay, all right. So yeah, I really appreciate that we have partnered up because one of the things I most appreciate about Kristen and her team is that they totally get the mind, body, spirit and how it, the cycle of pain works because I used to be in the physical therapy world and, you know, there's a lot of times people will go for physical therapy and everything is the movement is how it should be, you know, the range of motion and so forth. Again, it looked like they're healed, but they still have pain. And that is what she was, Kristen was just explaining. And um, it's a key component. And that's why we can work so well together. Um, because I've been asked, can, can my CBD heal the injury? You know, do they actually have to go to physical therapy? Absolutely, you need to go to physical therapy. Um, when there's an injury and a problem and you have fibrotic tissue or um, nerve in, involvement and nerve impingement and all of that, you need a professional physical therapist to get in there, get their hands on you and work that out and get it calmed down. So that is key. I have benefited greatly from physical therapy myself. So um, I'll jump into CBD and its role in that process. Um, if you don't know, I'll give you a quick background on what CBD is. It's, it's a phytocannabinoid um, and it comes from the hemp plant. What does that mean? Well, the hemp plant has over a hundred cannabinoids in it and they all have health benefits. It's kind of like people know that herbs are actually beneficial to our health. Rosemary and thyme and basil, they all have health benefits. Um, cumin, curcumin that people take, um, turmeric for inflammation. So the same thing goes with this, but there's over a hundred in the hemp plant and you hear of it as CBD, but there's CBC, CBN, CBG. There's all these different um, elements that are in there that together do various um, beneficial health um, things for your body. Um, our particular products, there's a lot of CBD products out there. Ours have no THC. It can legally have up to 3% and be considered THC free. But there are people that work um, for companies, corporations that are still doing the testing and so forth. And if you were to test positive for THC, that could be a real problem with your livelihood. And or if um, people in the uh, service uh, Army, Navy, um, my, my brain's not clicking on what's called, them, but, um, and the thing you need to know is it's all natural. It, it comes from the plant. So we can, and, and there's not, there's not side effects. You can go to the next. Um, okay. So how does it work? Like, why does this stuff work? And it's so different than taking pharmaceuticals. So our bodies have an endocannabinoid system, ECS system, and it's, it's a, it's a group of uh, receptors and transmitters that, that keep everything in balance, so to speak. So your CB1 receptor is in your brain, and this is the scientific part, but it helps those who think like this wanna know how does this work? So the CB1 receptor is more in the brain area, and that's why you see people getting results from CBD with, um, I mean, from anxiety, depression, even epilepsy, that's all neurological. Um, and that all comes from that receptor. So there's also the CB2 receptor and that's more in the center of your body. And that's more what Kristen was talking about, your brain's response to pain, how your brain is perceiving it. Um, it's also your immune system and so forth. Um, so CBD, when your receptors um, are, are depleted and don't have enough of the CBD in your system, which your body kind of naturally has, you're gonna have symptoms. It's kind of like someone who has trouble with um, depression and they may find out their serotonin is low. Um, when you get the serotonin in the right level, the symptoms improve. So that's what this does and it, and it balances things. So that's called 
homeostasis, brings things into balance. Um, the other thing I don't know that it's well known, it's really CBD is a nutritional supplement. I, I don't know about most of you, but I'm a big believer in supplements. I mean, even with um, COVID, they're saying there's a lot of um, reports um, and studies that they've done that if you're vitamin D deficient, uh, you're, you might be more prone to getting it. And zinc is another one. Well, CBD has multiple vitamins naturally in the plant. There's C, there's B, there's D, it's all, it's in there. So it, it can be a preventative um, solution as well, along with your vitamins. Um, the big claim to fame is it reduces inflammation. And inflammation is the root behind most ill health, any health problems and particularly pain. Um, so it's it, anything that can reduce inflammation naturally is your friend. Um, and I think what's fascinating, ahead. Carrie, kind of just to highlight again, what you had said is our body naturally has these elements of CBD in it. A lot of people think that that's something that's completely foreign to the human body. It's not, we're providing, right. we're boosting the levels of what CBD brings to the body. So even right. if you are not suffering from chronic pain or anxiety, you can still get some supplemental benefits through that vitamin complex um, that CBD is gonna bring. And so it's a really unique, um, a unique supplement because it's very, very wide based. And I think that speaks to that large number of cannabinoids that are in that product. I mean, it's a very, very broad-based supplement. Yeah. I've even read studies recently. I've got this new magazine that's giving all these updates, the newest findings of what CBD is doing. And there's, there's studies being done about it being helpful with COVID yeah. because of the inflammation reduction. Um, because one of the things that people that end up with complications their body goes into an, a, a big inflammatory response and it, it can affect all different systems in your body and that's not good. Absolutely. Um, yeah, so um, why are these products trustworthy? I mean, there's just so many CBD products out there. Um, you have to be careful. Uh, some of them don't have the, the strength that they say on the bottle. Some of them, it's just not, it's not regulated, but I'll show you how we regulate and, and that you can feel comfortable with it. Um, one of the things is when we remove the THC, we do the purest method, it's CO2. It just dissipates after you've removed it. It can, um, it can be removed with ethanol, which many companies do, but that leaves ethanol residue in there. And then you're putting ethanol in your body. And we're trying to keep your body having only what it needs, nothing unnatural, no chemicals. Um, it's organically grown. Uh, the farm is in Colorado um, and our manufacturing plant is in Florida. It's right outside of Miami. Um, our products, they're, they're, I call them more broad spectrum than full spectrum and I'll tell you what that means. So when you see that term, um, full spectrum means it has every single cannabinoid in it of the hundred and whatever but that includes THC. So we remove that one. THC is just one cannabinoid and there's benefits in THC. That's why there's dispensaries and people get their medical marijuana card. There are conditions that that is, you want a higher level of THC. But the way the plants are grown and harvested, for it to have um, the higher THC and the medical marijuana, they grow it a certain way to, to get it to, you know, they're hybrids and so forth. And to have the cannabinoids, um, it's grown a different way. And the thing of it is, um, what did I, I was going to tell you, THC, as I said, has its benefits. But when you have the higher THC products from a dispensary, they are lower in the other cannabinoids. Um, so it's vice versa for this. We have all the other cannabinoids, but we have left the uh, THC out for the reasons that I said. Um, it is not an isolate. That's another term that you'll see in this industry. Isolate is literally when one of these cannabinoids is isolated. So it might just be CBG and that's all it is. And that may be beneficial for something, but you're not going to get all the systemic benefits because it's not broad spectrum or even full spectrum. Um, 
So our two-step process, just so you know how we vet out whether it's pure and safe, is we do a testing when we harvest it from, the, um, from our farm to make sure, I said it was grown organically, that nothing has um, inadvertently seeped into the soil where there's heavy metals or anything like that that we don't want. Once it passes that, the raw product goes to our manufacturing plant in Florida, and that's when it's made into these products. Um, at that point, once we make a batch of, say, the CBD oils, like you see up here, um, it is third-party lab tested, so you don't have to take our word for it. And what's really cool is all of our products, can you see this, Kristen, since I can't see myself, I can't tell whether I'm, okay, see this, this little code thing? That's a QR code. Everyone has access to a free, the free QR app in your phone if you have a smartphone. I have the, you just need the free one. You pull up that app and just like what you may have seen they do at the restaurants now, you hover it over the thing and the menu pops up on your phone, you click on it, the same thing happens. You hover this um, and it'll pop up with the certifications from the third party lab that did the testing and you can click on your specific product, depending on what you bought, and it will show you the most recent certification. And you'll see that it is the strength that it says it is, and so on and so forth. So that that's how we know that we've made it the way we intended to. And that's how you can know it is what we say it is. Um, okay. Next. And Carrie, you know, I do want to say, just for those uh, out there that don't know, CBD is currently not FDA regulated. So it's Correct. important. Yeah, it's important that you find a place where you can verify because like Carrie mentioned, you know, there's people out there making CBD probably in their garage. Like there's a lot of CBD out there that's garbage. You can buy it at the, at the uh, car wash, you can buy it anywhere. So you want to make sure just like you purchase food and you read the label to make sure you understand what's in your food you're buying, same thing. So whether it's from Rethink, whether it's a different distributor, you know, look, read the label, look to see, yeah. is there some type of a way I can verify that what I'm buying actually is what I want? Just like if you were going to go for PT, you'd want to read the Google reviews, or you'd want to do a little bit of research. You know, right. don't take someone's word for it. Look carefully to ensure that you've got this type of product um, in your possession. Yep. hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah. You can get it on Amazon. I have no, I mean, any company can plop it on there. Um, okay. So now down to the nitty gritty, like what conditions does it help with? We've been talking about um, the pain and so forth, but if you're an athlete and you do a lot of training or just you know an avid exerciser, training and workout recovery, because when you lift weights, train and so forth, it creates a little inflammation. Inflammation in and of itself is not bad. It's our body's response to recover. But problem is we can get that switch stuck on and we're stuck in this inflammatory response and that goes to that cycle of pain that Kristen was talking about. But um, you will recover quicker from workouts if you are taking CBD products. Um, we know that it helps with pain, arthritis. I've had people with chronic migraines, um, joint, knees, you know, neck, fingers, um, you name it even muscle pain, it's not just um, joint pain and so forth. So any kind of pain, it can absolutely naturally and safely give you relief. And one of the reasons like doctors have recommended our product, there's a pharmacies that carry it, physical therapy, chiropractors is because they're comfortable with how ours has been tested and so forth. They're, they're comfortable with this product. Um, so anxiety and sleep. Sleep is a huge issue with so many people nowadays. And the thing of it is, if you don't get good restorative sleep, that is such a key for health as well. Um, and taking constant sleeping pills isn't necessarily our best bet, but if it was all you had to choose from, you need sleep. So um, we, CBD in and of itself helps with sleep. And then we have some specialty products that CBD with some other things mixed in. And I'll go into that real quick in a little bit. Um, autoimmune diseases, all autoimmune from Hashimoto's hypothyroidism, rheumatoid arthritis. Um, what's the one that starts with an L? Help me, Kristen. Lupus. Lupus. All of those, thank you. All of those 
autoimmune conditions, and there's so many more, are, are an inflammatory response in your body. So if you can get inflammation down, your symptoms will improve. And I know that personally. Um, I've had my own health um, journey from getting Lyme disease. And I, it was really, really bad. It was late stage Lyme, neurological Lyme. Um, and I had chronic pain, chronic issues that were inflammatory. It triggered um, Hashimoto's hypothyroidism because my body attacked my own thyroid. Um, all of those things can res be, respond well to CBD. I'm not saying it cures. It's, it's an anti-inflammatory lifestyle. I, and when I do consultations for people, I talk often about the whole ball of wax on inflammation. E eat anti-inflammatory. Do not eat processed foods. There's, there's a whole ball of wax with this. And if you do purchase products through our company, through um, Kristen and her team at Action, um, we do, I do complimentary consultations and so does others in our team um, to help you find your best product. Um, and Carrie, as we talk about kind of the products, I'm going to kind of gloss over um, these next two slides, which talks about all of the different options because everyone out there could certainly visit um, the Rethink website and kind of see the things and in the in the uh, essence of time so we can move into q a yeah. i do want to just highlight here that you know certainly many options both in um, ingestible and topical versions um, which can help with all of these different conditions and partnering up with someone like carrie can help with that whether it's using rethink or again any other cbd distributor um, but know that there's a variety of different things out there to help meet those needs. And after Q&A, if anybody is interested in staying on to discuss those mm -hmm. particular products, let's go into those. Um, but I, I, yeah. in the essence of time, talk for Absolutely. me a little bit, Carrie, about dosing and how you manage that part of it. Okay, all right. Dosing is key. Um, everybody's different. So you and your best friend could have the same knee injury or, or problem and need different amounts. Again, it goes back to our endocannabinoid system, how depleted it is. So what, what I recommend is um, uh, Kristen's team has access to a dosing sheet to kind of help guide you. But what it basically is saying, we kind of identify the severity of your situation, of the injury, of the pain. Is it every day? Is it, is it infrequent? Um, as well as your sleep and so forth. And what I have somebody do is start at a certain amount let's say it's a 1000 milligram, um, take one dose a day. If you're hitting your right amount that your body needs, you should feel results. If that does not give you um, the results that you're looking for, you get some relief, I would up it the next day. Like I want people to quickly get to their therapeutic dose so they're not wasting their money, sitting there taking product that's not the right dose for them. So I would increase it each day until you feel results. You can take it three times a day. You can't hurt yourself with this. You're just wasting money if you take more than you need. So once you get your results and your pain is calming down or your anxiety is calming down, I would stay at that level, whatever it is, once a day, twice a day, three times, four times, until let it all calm down for a couple of weeks. Then you can slowly try to reduce it a little bit when your symptoms return, now you know the previous dose to that is probably your maintenance dose. And the reason I tell you this is I care about your pocketbook too, but I also, when you first start a regimen, if you have been in a chronic cycle, it takes more to calm it down in the beginning. So don't panic that you will always have to, you know, take this really strong. You, it will get calmed down and then you can find a maintenance dose that will help maintain those results. If you have a worse day, every day is not the same, you can increase it. So you're kind of in charge of this. It's not like Advil, everyone takes two to two tablets every four to six hours, totally different. And, and you know, um, it's not that different than physical therapy. When someone comes in right. with an acute pain condition, oftentimes they need, you know, a little bit more frequent PT on the front end to get things to calm right. down. And then right. our job is to work with you to figure out, okay, from here, how do you manage this? 
you know, if the pain isn't yes. completely gone because it's chronic in nature, or there's other confounding factors like a medical condition, how can we teach you to maintain it? So I think that's another great complement to where these two interventions um, really marry well together is the goal is to can create control and control the symptoms and then figure out what does that look like moving forward so that you can manage it on your own. True, true. Yeah, you um, get the physical so therapy, it'll calm the initial problem down. You start CBD in there, it'll probably, you'll probably recover quicker, but it also helps you with the long-term response. Absolutely. Um, lots of super fun things for people to take a look at on the website, um, everything from pet products to, you know, even N95 masks, like who knew, but lots of great things to take a look at um, if anyone is interested. So please feel free. Um, but really in conclusion, as we open up to Q&A, please know CBD is an effective option for reducing chronic pain and anxiety. And we know, especially after this past year, which has been mm -hmm. incredibly anxiety provoking, uh, the rates of an anxiety and depression in our country have escalated upwards of 25%. So even those who previously were relatively resistant to depression, anxiety, and possibly chronic pain are seeing higher reports of that because of the last year that we've all endured. So know that this is a tool in the toolbox. It's not a be all end all, um, just like nothing is, but this is an opportunity for uh, you to work with a skilled provider, physical therapist, a health consultation specialist like Carrie, who can help work with you to control that chronic pain and anxiety so that you feel that ability to take control back over your life. So you know, what we do is we figure out, are these two tools effective? What does it look like for you? And we try those right alongside with you to help meet your goals. And working with Carrie, you know, why I love working with her is she's very accessible. And, you know, she wants to see you succeed just like we want to see you succeed because we're invested in your health um, and providing you with the help that is necessary. Um, we'll open up for Q&A. Um, the way that we'll do the Q&A is if you could take yourself off of mute um, and then you can, um, you know, add your question in. I'm going to keep this screen up for anybody that is still on the call um, so that you can access through the Rethink Wellness Now website any of the products that we discussed. So certainly um, you'll see there the whole gamut of Carrie's products. If you use the code Action Potential at checkout, you can save 10%, which is definitely helpful. And then certainly as a thank you from us at Action Potential, if you're interested in some stretches to help augment that CBD regimen that can help reduce pain, uh, these here are my favorite spinal stretches. There's three of them, they're easy to do at home, and um, they're really helpful in just helping to restore some motion. So please, um, you know, from us, accept that free gift um, as a download. Um, so certainly I'll open up now for any questions. Um, if